All right, you guys, so in today's lesson, we are going to talk about cleaning a point-and-shoot camera. Now, this is really important because cleaning a camera can extend its lifetime, and it can make it um, run better and take better photos. So we're going to do this to an old camera that I have laying around. I use it for a lot of things, and um, you can see that this video, like some of the other ones that we do like this, are going to be sped up in certain parts. I recorded the video separate from the audio. So. Here we are looking at the different items that you'll need. I've got some lens cleaning fluid right there, and I just showed um, two cleaning cloths. I've got a brush and another brush, and then that right there in my hand is uh, some optical paper that is for cleaning lenses. Right there you can see I also held up some Q-tips. So now we're going to start by rubbing it off with one brush. Now I have that one, the brush that I'm using is sort of more of my body brush. I use it for wiping off things that aren't lenses and that don't touch glass really. Um, you can see it looks like I'm touching the glass right there but I'm actually just cleaning the barrel and so I'm going around kind of scraping out all the little different spots around all the different crevices and now you can see I want to move on to the lens so to do that I've taken out a battery so that it doesn't close while I'm cleaning the lens. Um, I've turned it on, opened everything up and um, so now the battery's out. I'm going to lay it on its back here so I can take a look at it now it's a little bit clean. Usually before I would start with the black brush that you're seeing on the table right there. But because the lens is clean, I'm going to start with um, this glass paper right here, this optical paper, the Q-tip. There's no dust or anything on there. It's been recently cleaned. At least the lens has been recently cleaned. So I take a Q-tip and oops, uh, it looks like I was not holding onto the paper there very well. And just kind of wrap the paper sort of carefully around that Q-tip, not too tightly, kind of leave it a little bit loose. And then I'm just going to take one drop of this optical cleaning fluid. And this cleaning fluid sort of acts like a lubricant so that you don't scratch the lens and um, helps kind of wash away some of the things that are on the lens. It's not necessarily, it's a little bit similar to rubbing alcohol, but you don't want ever want to use rubbing alcohol on a lens. So here you can see I'm just sort of dabbing dabbing the lens a little bit. I'm not pushing too hard, not pushing really at all sort of dabbing and here you can see I've got a little some dust has kind of come out from the edges so I push that away with the brush and now I'm back to cleaning and so I'm just kind of carefully rubbing in sort of a circular motion but not pushing no pressure right there so looks like I've got it just about done Looks like I'm pretty happy with it so I'm now gonna take that q-tip which is a little wet and I'm going to, with some cleaning fluid I'm cleaning off the barrel of the lens so this is getting the dust that was on the barrel of the lens because when the lens goes in and out it catches some dust and sometimes if you do that enough the dust will get sucked into the lens so I'm cleaning that off now I put the batteries back in and check and everything looks fine so that is good to go now it's time to brush off the body now especially the um, LCD screen on this gets on this camera gets very dirty so I've pulled out my body um, my body cleaning cloth now this is an old lens cloth that I had from another from a long time ago that's now very dirty and I just use this now for um, for washing off my cameras so that they are good and clean so here I've put a little bit of lens cleaning fluid on there you can use it for the body too and I'm just sort of carefully not pushing too hard not scraping or scrap scrubbing I'm just sort of brushing off carefully but not with a little light pressure the screen and the body and all the different things alright so now you can see I've pulled out one of the q-tips and put a little bit of fluid on it now it's time to clean the viewfinder so some cameras are going to have viewfinders and they're classic for catching dust. I'm not exactly sure why but cleaned out the viewfinder and then I kind of cleaned around some of the buttons. There was some sort of grime. This camera gets used for a lot of sort of outdoor adventure stuff and gets a little dirty. Inside the battery compartment it's pretty clean in there but I'm just going to check anyways, rub off the contacts and you can also check down in the bottom of it and make sure that there's nothing down there. Open that little plastic bit, clean that out and now I got some fingerprints on this while I was using the Q-tip, so I'm cleaning those off right there, which takes a second. And that's pretty much it. The camera is now ready to go, and just in a few minutes, you have a clean camera. We're going to move on from here to um, some more technical things in the next unit.